Hello, everyone. This is Aaron Muller again with Advantage Commercial Brokers. We help people buy and sell businesses in Washington State. And today I want to talk a little bit about bookkeeping services. These are great businesses. If you own one and you want to sell it, the market's hot for them. There's a lot of buyers. There's a lot of strategic buyers. There's a lot of other types of buyers that just want to you know, own a little business. So you have a great company that uh, is very marketable, you know, but pricing is going to be determined by many factors. I'm just going to go over a few of those factors with you to give you an idea of what to be thinking about when you want to sell. Uh, obviously, revenues are a huge part, you know, of any business. Uh, so they're going to look at how big the business is, how many, what your, what your annual revenues are. Um, obviously, profits, that's what pays all the bills, the loan payments and stuff like that. So we will help you determine your owner's discretionary income, not just your profit at the bottom of, uh, the bottom line, but the, the, the income that you truly make through that business, through write-offs and different things like that, we'll, we'll add back into it. Um, you know, how many clients do you have? You know, do you have 10 or do you have 100? Obviously, the more you have, the more diverse your company is, the less scary it is for somebody to buy. Um, what types of services are you performing? Is it just bookkeeping or do you offer like payroll, AR, AP? You know, do you do uh, taxes at the end of the year? So are you a CPA firm or do you um, hire that out to somebody? All that stuff plays part in like what somebody might be looking for um, out there to buy. And, and the multiple uh, plays a big part in, uh, in or those items play a big part in what the multiple ends up being. Um, what's your hourly rate? Are you at market or below? But you know, like, are you getting great rates? You know, like a lot of times we'll run into cases, cases where people have been charging the same amount for so many years. So if you're a little bit below market, I would recommend before you even put it on the market that you do your rate increases and get people, uh, you know, okay with that. Probably, you know, maybe like give them about 60 days to absorb it and be okay with it. Because if you're below market, uh, strategic buyers are going to have a problem with that, and they're going to they're going to see it right away. Um, how long have your clients been with you? You know, are they all new, or they've been around for ten years or more? So, uh, obviously, if they've been around for a long time, that's great. Uh, it is showing that you've done a good job and you have a good reputation, and people want to stick with you. Um, do you work remotely? You know, or do you have to work at a client's office? I mean, the the bookkeeping services where you have to go out to that person's office uh, aren't going to be as desirable, right? I mean, now somebody's running around trying to do everything or, you know, are they able to maybe upload all their information and actually um, uh, you can do everything from your office and not really have to go out to their place. That's going to be a lot more desirable. You know, how often are you having to do on-site visits, you know? Um, is it something that... Um, you know, you're coming out there like once a month or you're going weekly. Uh, those things, are, again, are a hassle for a lot of buyers. They don't like to uh, have to go out to places. They like to get all their information. And so, like, a strategic buyer, again, is going to be uh, more up to want a business that, that they don't have to make site visits all the time, maybe once a quarter or something like that, maybe, you know. Maybe an individual buyer might be okay with it more often, but, like, if it's a, a you know, a strategic buyer, definitely uh, it's, it's going to be something that, um, they're looking at just doing it remotely. Um, so the other thing is like even like, you know, location um, uh, of where all the business is located can play a big part. You know, like let's just say it's in downtown Seattle or something, or downtown Bellevue. That's going to be a lot, lot better than maybe somebody that's out in, you know, um, way far out in Snohomish or in Mount Vernon or, or down south like in Olympia or something like that where – you know, there's – because I guess what I'm saying for, for that is there's a lot of firms that are looking to expand in the uh, Seattle metropolitan area. And so when it gets out too far, it starts not making sense then to them to expand their business because those are the people that are probably going to most likely be that, you know, do the acquisition. Um, obviously, there will be some smaller practices that will do something out in these other areas, but I find we've we've – had this one situation where <clears throat> we had a, a practice on the east side and one in um, in Auburn, and the one in Auburn, you know, it just took a long time to be able to even sell. Um, where the one on the east side sold right away because it just there was just way more people that were, you know, it, it fit their criteria of where they wanted to be. So if you need help selling your uh, bookkeeping practice, or you want to just understand the valuation, or, or get we can give you a free valuation on your business. Um, uh, 
get a hold of us at sellmybusinesswa.com. Uh, That's sellmybusinesswa.com, and we'll give you all free advice and hopefully start working together and uh, allowing you to retire or move on to some other career. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.